Hey, I'm Kalash, and today I'm making a cat cafe. I started by cutting up some cardboard boxes into wall shapes and freeing my collection of coffee stir sticks. I covered the walls with white glue and attached the sticks. After drying, I cut off all the axes until I was left with a nice wall and did the same for the other ones. Then I glued them together with hot glue. I later cut out a piece on one of the side walls because I realized it would probably be a nice idea if the shopkeeper didn't need to parkour over the counter to enter the shop. I cut out foam core in the same size as the walls and textured them with a pen. This will be glued on the inside frame to bulk up the walls a bit. The texture is not that important on the inside, so I'm not using stir sticks for this. They will be held down with the power of hot glue. The floor is also just a piece of foam core board. I glued on some more foam to hide the seams and create the top counter. The customers will be served on two sticks glued together with white glue. Then I added wooden poles that are going to be supporting the roof. The roof is also a piece of foam, but we will return to that later. For the shopkeeper, I created a bowling pin with ears out of polymer clay. I was originally going for a cat, but I think the ears and eyes make it look more like a fox. He was also supposed to be a bit chunkier, but he wouldn't fit into the store. This is exactly how much planning goes into my projects. And I couldn't help myself from giving him an apron with a cute little bow tied on the back. For the chairs, I made some clay cushions and added wooden sticks. The customers are going to be two simple cats. Or dogs? Or... hmm. One of them gets painted from grey to more grey. Since they have no texture, I dry brush them with a lighter colour to make it a bit more interesting. The other one gets the same treatment, but in orange. Since my cat was looking more like a fox, I decided to go with it and paint it light orange. And then adding lighter highlights. I didn't mean to paint the mouth like a fox though. I later looked at pictures of real foxes and realized that's exactly what I did. My brain had already given up on it being a cat, but we can pretend, right? The apron got a few layers of pinkish grey, and we can get to painting the cafe itself. I went over it with multiple layers of brown, but the color was still not even. In this case, it's not a bad thing though, I actually really like how it made the wood look. In real life, wood isn't perfectly one tone either. But to give it even more character, I went over it with a lighter dry brush. And a black wash to tone it down. The chairs got the same treatment, only the cushions got painted purple. I also made some miniature foods, but to not make this video 20 minutes long, I won't go into too much detail on that. Unless that's something you'd like in the future.
It is mostly desserts because I really enjoy making them and some meals and vegetables. I grabbed a plastic tube and cut it into pieces. These are going to be glasses for my drinks. I added some black beads and colored UV resin. They are supposed to be bubble tea. Everything got attached with a bit of super glue. I also made a foam oven, but it's barely visible later. And now finally, the roof. I wanted the cafe to have a cool 3D sign, so I went with a bowl of ramen. The main part of it is a clay octopus. I made some tentacles and attached them to the head. But without the eyeballs, it looks like an odd tentacle gas mask. I know people do eat octopuses, but that was not my main intention here. He is alive and well, just having a warm bath in the ramen. The bowl is some plastic ornament I had lying around. Since I can't bake the plastic, I wrapped it so I can take everything out later. I added rolled out clay as the noodles, then the octopus, and more noodles on top. I also added chopsticks, boiled eggs, and some green onion. After assembling everything, I put him in a foil mold and baked him. The octopus got painted green and the noodles in a noodle color. I went over the noodles with a darker wash, hoping it's going to get into the places I couldn't paint with a brush. And the suction cups got a lighter green. For the liquid, I used UV resin. It would have been a good idea to color it a bit to make it more visible, but I actually don't have any decent resin pigments, so I left it as it is. The letters are also made out of clay. The cat-fox-corgi hybrid is called Miko, and this is his diner. Miko is the first name that came to my mind. I did spend some time thinking of other ones, but my mind was pretty set on Miko, so I went with it. The letters got highlighted with that same octopus green and covered in a gloss varnish. The roof itself was painted the same way as the rest of the shop. I glued on the ramen with super glue and attach the letters with matte Mod Podge. I am thinking about making this part of a set and maybe making some similar style pieces in the future. And the roof got attached with some hot glue. Then I glued down the customers, chairs and drinks. And that's it. Thank you to my wonderful patrons for their support, and thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!